Ever feel like herding cats is easier than getting your friends to commit to plans? You're not alone. We've all been there. Endless group chats, last minute cancellations, and the dreaded maybe that never turns into a yes. Like, look at this. This isn't a group chat. This is a crime scene. Anyways, what if I told you there's an app that promises to banish flakiness forever? We put it to the ultimate test with real friends, real plans, and some real results. So here's Hangoof. First of all, you have to sign up for an account. You're using email and a password. But later in the future, you can use Google and Apple. Once you've logged in, you are greeted with a clean UI. You click open my circles to open your circles. And then you click one of your circles. And all the hangouts are there. For example, this one that we were planning, which is called Erbil Weekend Hangout. You can click going maybe or no. And you can also view the details where you can check who's coming and who's not. Also on this page, you can check where are we meeting, when are we meeting, and where is it hosted? Is it a private one or a public one? And a brief description about the Hangout. If you want to create a Hangout, you click this. And if you want to invite someone, you click this. We also have a chat system that surprisingly works. And here's a demo. True, we do need everyone here. And at the bottom, you can find everyone in this circle. We also have a profile page where you can edit all your information, like display name, username, Instagram tag, your city and country. And here, you can find everyone on the app, so you can follow them or don't. About public hangouts, we have this explore feeds page where it shows all the public hangouts hosted on the app. Okay, so let me show you how this thing actually works. The entire app is built with Expo for the front end and Superbase for the back end. Simple stack, nothing dramatic. I wanted something fast, something clean, and something that wouldn't punish me at 2 a.m. This is the groups screen. Each group is basically a small circle of people, friends, classmates, whoever you're trying to convince to leave the house for once. The logic is simple. Superbase returns all the groups you're a part of, and the UI just displays the name, description, and how many members are inside. Nothing groundbreaking. I spent more time thinking about the colors than actually the query. When you create a Hangout, all you're really doing is giving the group a location, time, and whatever title you want. The database just stores it. No AI, no machine learning, no 10-layer architecture, just a normal row in a normal table. Revolutionary. And that's it. You press submit, and now everyone in the group gets a notification, or at least they should. That part depends on whether they allow notifications or not, <laughs> which they didn't. Anyways, this is the part I cared about. Three options. Yes, no, maybe, because humans apparently cannot handle a fourth. Each response updates the database instantly, and thanks to Superbase real-time subscriptions, everyone in the group sees the numbers changing immediately. No refreshing, no spamming the chat, it just updates. It's almost like technology works when it wants to. This is my favorite part of the app, real-time updates. You say yes on your phone, I see it on mine within a second. No more, did he respond? Did she see the message? The app just tells you. Moving on, I kept the UI extremely simple, quick animations, a clean layout, and color that doesn't hurt your eye. I didn't want to build the next Snapchat or something. I just wanted to make a tool that makes organizing plans slightly less painful. And that's basically the foundations of Hangoof. Nothing crazy, just a small, practical app that does its job without arguing. So, after building all the essentials, I wanted to test the app with the only group of people capable of breaking it. My friends, I created a simple hangout, nothing dramatic. Billiards at 7 p.m. Whoever shows up, shows up. Here it is, I filled in the details, pressed create, and it sent the notification to everyone in the group. At this point, there are only two possibilities. It's either they respond or they pretend they didn't see it. Both are equally likely. And here's how it went. Someone actually clicked yes within a minute, which shocked me. Usually, I have to send three reminders and threaten to go without them. In the end, the app did exactly what I wanted. I didn't need to chase anyone. I didn't need to scroll through messages. I just opened one screen and the information was there. And honestly, that's all I wanted from day one. So yeah, this is Hangoof actually being used in the wild. Nothing staged. 
Just me trying to get a plan going without losing my sanity. I didn't share the code for this one, but I did leave a link in the description. It's just a simple waitlist page where you can put your email there so you can notify me that you're interested. And honestly, if enough people sign up, I'll move this from a side project to a real release. App Store, Play Store, all of it. I don't mind putting in the work if I know people actually want it. And if you want to see me build more stuff like this or something completely different, just let me know in the comments. I read everything, even the weird ones. A like or a subscribe also helps the channel grow. I'm trying to stay consistent with these, so it genuinely makes a difference. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time.